In the late 1920s, radio broadcasting was the cheapest form of entertainment, and 60% of the nation's households had radios. In today's video, we will reveal to you who invented the radio. If you don't want to miss the answer, stick around. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you do not miss any of our new videos. Also, feel free to follow us on social media, links in the description box down below. Inventors around the world were churning out new and exciting inventions left and right, in the years leading up to the 20th century. Scientific work in radio technology was heating up too between two men in particular. Serbian-American scientists, Nikola Tesla, and Italian physicist, Guglielmo Marconi. But more than 100 years later, ask any two people who invented the radio, and you're likely to get two different answers. The story is a murky one, that mixes scientific discovery, with lawsuits, and good old-fashioned marketing. After emigrating to the U.S. in 1884, Tesla invented the Tesla coil, a device essential to sending and receiving radio waves. But in 1895, a fire destroyed Tesla's lab, as he prepared to send a radio signal approximately 50 miles, which is around 80 kilometers to West Point, NY. Meanwhile, Marconi had been conducting his own experiments. In 1896, he sent and received Morse code-based radio signals, at distances spanning nearly 4 miles, which is around 6 kilometers in England. That same year, he applied for, and was granted the world's first patent in wireless telegraphy in England. Tesla applied for his first patent in radio work in 1897 in America. He also built and demonstrated the radio-controlled boat at Madison Square Garden. In 1900, the U.S. Patent Office granted Tesla patent 645,576 and 649,621. Tesla's radio patents gave him ownership over one of the key necessities in radio communications. That same year, on November 10, Marconi filed patent number 7777 for tune telegraphy. At first, the patent office denied Marconi's applications on the grounds that his work relied on the use of Tesla coils. Unfazed, Marconi used his father's connections and wealth to spearhead a profitable business based on his telegraph technology. While continuing to pursue his radio patents in 1901, he transmitted the first telegraph across the Atlantic Ocean, disproving detractors who told him that the curvature of the Earth would limit transmission to 200 miles or less. Finally in 1904 the U.S. Patent Office inexplicably reversed its earlier decision and gave the Italian the patent for invention of the radio. Marconi won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1909, further fueling the rivalry with Tesla. In 1915, Tesla sued the Marconi company for patent infringement. In an ironic twist of fate, Marconi's company sued the U.S. government in 1943 for patent infringement during World War I. But the case never made it to court, because the U.S. Supreme Court upheld patent 645,576, thus restoring Tesla and avoiding the lawsuit altogether. Tesla died a few months earlier, as the inventor of the radio, but, many people still tend to think of Marconi as the father of the radio.